Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. This is Sarfraz Khan. This video is going to be very, very interesting, especially for college students like most of you and me, because I'm going to share with you the things that you should definitely learn before you graduate college. Because once you graduate college, things are going to be very different. While in college, it is only going to be a learning process. But after you graduate, you'll enter the real world and use and apply what you've learned. And on the other side, the world is evolving very fast and we must be able to cope up with this speed. But how can we do that? By making ourselves as efficient as possible. And that is what this video is going to be about. If you're coming here for the first time, my name is Sarfraz Khan and I talk about self-improvement, college life and the things by which you can improve your knowledge. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because that motivates me a lot to make more videos just for you. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video right now. So what do you think is the best way to make people understand something? by effective communication. So only by good communication, you can make things clear and make people understand what you're trying to say. And that is called as being a good communicator. But on the other side, I've seen a lot of people struggle with communication. Their ideas and thoughts would be clear, but they wouldn't be able to express it. But let me tell you something. Mastering yourself with communication is really, really easy than your thought. On what basis am I telling this? Because I was also a person who used to struggle a bit with communication. But now that's not the case. I'm really comfortable even in front of the camera or in front of people. How can you do this? All you need is a great deal of practice every single day. You can practice in front of the mirror or in front of the camera or even with a family member or even a friend. But there is something more important I would like to share with you. Unless you practice very much, communication won't improve at all. You can learn ton of information and read a lot of books regarding how to be a better communicator, how to communicate well in English and so on. But if you don't practice, nothing is going to happen. But once you master the skill of communication, it is going to be a very, very valuable thing for you. The ability to collect information regarding a particular topic or to retrieve data. Have you ever thought of this? Why are students always filled with assignments, articles and research papers? to improve the ability of you to collect information and data from possible places. This is always going to be a very valuable skill. Let me explain with an example. When you graduate and go to a job, information is always going to play a major role. Any job or any role, whatever you want. You have to be able to collect information from different sources, like from a marketplace or from a product base or from a consumer base and and things of the like. And most importantly, you can't always rely on technological and online ways of collecting information like going to Google or visiting ton of websites and so on. You have to be familiar with offline modes of collection as well, like conducting a survey or collecting information from books, journals and so on. Just like it is necessary to be a good communicator, it is also equally important to be a good writer. That is, you have to be good with your words. So just think of it. So when you enter the real world after graduation, things are going to be very professional. That is, you have to write a lot of emails, you'll receive a lot of emails and letters and there is going to be a lot of correspondence in whatever field you are in. By that way, you have to be able to write well. On the other side, you must talk to a lot of people, share information with them and collect information from them as well. For all these to efficiently happen, you must be a really good writer. You have to know which words to use and when to use them and how to talk in different situations. So just like communication becomes better with practice, the same applies to writing. It becomes really better with writing. So how to improve your writing? It is really simple than communication. You just have to write something of your interest every day, every single day. At least two or three sentences would do. Or you can easily cultivate the habit of journaling. There is a small connection between becoming a good communicator and becoming a good writer. Just like I said before, without practice, communication won't become better. The same applies to writing. Without practice, your writing won't improve. Social media is a big waste of time only when used for entertainment purposes. But if used skillfully, it is going to be a great benefit, especially for students. We use it every single day, right? Most of the people use social media only for pictures, reels and songs. How many of them use it for making money or to build an audience or to create some content or to learn new skills? Very, very few. I'm definitely not going to close my eyes and tell that you shouldn't use social media for entertainment. You can use, but not always. And on the other side, I'm definitely not going to ask everyone to create some content or to build an audience or to gain money from it. You, you definitely don't have to do all these things, but just use it to improve something in yourself. I would recommend two best social media platforms for students. 
The first one is Twitter and the second one is LinkedIn. Twitter is pretty much like world in your hands. You don't even have to see news channels if you have a Twitter account because everything which is in Twitter is really really informative. All you have to do is sign up and enter your fields of interest. Twitter will keep you educated as much as possible, even better than newspapers and even better than news channels. And coming to LinkedIn. As far as LinkedIn is concerned, it is not an ordinary social media platform. It is more professional. You can't find any pictures, reels and songs over there. Three things are really important when it comes to LinkedIn. How your profile looks, your resume and your skills. With these three things, you can search for internships, jobs, contracts and even new people to connect. Make sure you establish yourself when it comes to these two social media platforms. The most important asset that you will ever have, not only for students but for everyone, is time. There is something really impressive with time. No matter who you are or what you do or where you are, you only have 24 hours a day. That is 86,400 seconds. But how you decide to spend this 24 hours really differs from person to person. So as far as students are concerned, like you and me, we have a lot of things to do, right? Like attending classes, doing homework or assignments, studying, participating in extracurricular activities, going out with friends and lots more. From my personal experience, time management is not that easy. But I'm not gonna say that it's impossible. I'm here to make time management very, very easy for you with just three simple steps. The first one, try writing a to-do list. You have to know what to do and when to do it. The second one, start prioritizing things. You have to know which work is important and which has to be completed first. And finally, the Pomodoro technique. If you want to know what is the Pomodoro technique and how to use it, just click this video over here. This one is also called as the ability to influence others. Let me explain with an example. We must have seen our parents, right? They try to negotiate the prices of particular products and they most likely succeed. If a product is of 100 rupees, they try to buy it for 85 or 90. But why is this important for students? Let me tell you. If you graduate and go to a job and you feel like you want a higher pay or you want a higher position or you want more opportunities in that job, you have to be able to persuade you have to be able to persuade your employer, your boss or your manager. If you feel like you want something and you genuinely believe that you are capable of what you're asking for, you have to ask. And all these things doesn't come from asking or just requesting. You have to be able to influence or you have to be able to persuade that person and try to make them believe that you are capable of what you're asking for. And that is why I said persuasion is very important for students. I have spoken a lot about how gaining work experience and learning how things really work as a student would be very beneficial. Here are some clips. So while you were in school, you would have gained a lot of knowledge about the subjects which you chose. Like the stream you chose. For example, computer science or commerce or pure science, whatever. And when you enter college, that learning would have gone to the next level. Like the lessons would have become big, the concepts would have become more professional and you have to be able to think more and all those stuff. But when you enter the real world, things are going to be very different and professional as well. In that time, having only a ton of knowledge won't be useful at all. So let me explain with an example. If you've learned a ton of lessons and watched a lot of videos and listened to a lot of lectures related to brain surgery, will you be able to perform a brain surgery actually and successfully? Definitely not. That would end up in a disaster. So not only for medicine, but for every field. You might have learned a lot of things about business and marketing and sales or customer satisfaction, everything. But unless you get into a business or actually start one, you won't know everything about entrepreneurship. So that is why I said learning how things really work is very important. If you learn something new at college, try to apply it to the real world. This was inspired by a TED talk named How to Graduate College with a Job You Love and Less Debt by Julian Gordon. As far as network building is concerned, there are four fundamentals. Coming to the first one, how well do you know yourself? It is all about knowing your strengths, weaknesses, skills, abilities and talents. The second one, what you know. What are the things that you know and what are the things that you're really good at? The third one, who you know and who knows you. And finally, who knows what you know. All these four fundamentals are pretty much self-explanatory. Just try to think about this and you'll find a lot of answers. So friends, I would like to end this video with a small information. College life is one of the best and the most important phase of your life because that is where you'll identify who you are and you learn about your strengths, your weaknesses and all your capacities 
and you'll find what do you want and what is the purpose of your life. All the important decisions you take in life are mostly during your college. By that way, let me tell you something valuable. The age 18 to 24. This is the time period where you can build your future or completely destroy it. And 18 to 24 is mostly during college. So I hope that this video is very useful. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this video and what is the favorite skill that you would like to learn first. So that's it for today guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and drop your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. Until next time, stay happy, stay motivated and believe in yourself.